Hey everyone, it is Money Mike. We're gonna be hunting through these bank straps of $1 bills. We have $1,200 total. We're gonna to be looking for cool serial numbers like this. We're also gonna be looking for star notes and we're gonna be looking for bills from the 90s or older and I'll be looking for errors as well. So I'll hunt each strap off camera, but I'll reveal the finds as I go. So let's go ahead and get started. We're starting things off with a couple of star notes. We have a 2017 J and that run size is gonna be 3.2 million with almost three and a half million total printed. And then the next star note is gonna be a 2017K and that run size is going to be 3.2 million with almost 10 million total printed. So both of them are gonna be on the less rare side, but still nice finds there. And the third bill we pulled out of the first strap is gonna be a series 1999. So like I mentioned in the intro, I look for anything 90s and older. And when it comes to collecting older bills, this is kind of where I start in the 90s. So nice one for the collection. Let's move on to strap number two. We have our third star note. It's going to be a 2017 G, both the run and total printed 3.2 million. So it is on the less rare side again for the star note, but nice find. Next bill, we have another older bill. This one's going to be a series 1988A and pretty clean bill, very crisp. So happy with that. Uh, the other thing I look for on the 88As, the 93s and the 95s, I checked that front plate identifier. This one says A393. Now, if it was missing a letter and only had numbers, that would mean it's a web note, which was an experimental style uh, printing they did on the dollar bills. Uh, this one is clearly not going to be a web note. The other way you can check too is on the back where the back plate number is. The web note would actually have it located on top. I did find a web note in one of my big strap searches a while back. And if you're interested in seeing that search, I can link that here for you. And last bill we pulled out, this serial number is gonna be a birthday note. So we can read that as 1504, 1968. So April 15th, 1968. All right, some cool stuff here. Let's go ahead and move on to strap three. Only one note in strap number three. It is a series 1999. I'll still take it. All right, let's move on to strap four. All right, only one bill in that strap, but check out what it is. It is an X note. So it's not very common for the letter X on the suffix to be printed on these bills. Reason being is as these bills are printed in blocks, starting with letter A, they work their way up through the alphabet. They skip letter O. They can reach as high as letter Y, which is going to be the most rare. This X is going to be second in line, but they will typically reach a new series before the blocks get printed this high with having a letter X, for example. So there's definitely a market for these and they are collectible. Um, I actually did upload a video a while back, which was going over the range that these were selling for at the time of filming. So if you're interested in that, I can go ahead and link that here. But anyway, really cool find. Let's move on to the next track. Wow, guys, check it out. Back to back X notes. This one's in much better shape than the one in the prior strap, but that's pretty cool to find two X notes back to back. Next bill, we have ourselves a quad one. So these four in a row repeating digits, um, I actually uploaded a video on these a while back, which was going over the range at which these were selling for. So if you're interested in that, I can link that here. Okay, let's move on to the next strap. And here's another star note, it's 2017A, the L District, 3.2 million for the run, 4.34 million for the total printed. So again, on the less rare side, like those other star notes, but uh, this is gonna be star note number four. So that's pretty nice. The next bill, we have another quad. And this one is also going to be a trinary because it's got only three unique digits. And I did forget to point out in the last draft that that quad was also a trinary. And then uh, in addition to this one being a trinary, uh, it is bookends. So we've got that same digit on the front as we do on the end of the serial number. So it gives it a little bit more flair in the coolness factor of the serial number on top of the main feature of it being a quad. All right, let's move on to the next strap. Two more star notes that make six. This one's gonna be a 2017A from the B district. And we've got 3.2 million for the run and just a hair over 7 million for the total printed. And then this next one's gonna be a 2013L district. 
3.2 million for that run and almost 13 million total printed. So again, just like the other four star notes prior to this, these are gonna be on the less rare side. Moving on to this uh, third bill that we pulled out, it is gonna be a true scattered ladder for the serial number. So if we arrange these numbers in ascending order, it completes a ladder without any repeats or jumps in the numbers one through eight. So I also uploaded a video a while back that went over the ranges for what these were selling for at the time of filming. So if you're interested in checking that out, I can link that here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next strap. All right, another star note. This is going to be number seven for the bank strap search so far. This is a 2017 L district. That run size is 3.2 million with a little over 8.8 .8 million total printed. So just like all the other star notes, it's going to be a common, less rare star note. But nonetheless, great find. Moving on to the next bill, we have another true scattered ladder. So that's pretty cool to have found them back to back in straps. This one, when completing the ladder and arranging them in ascending order, it is numbers two through nine. I actually ended up finding four of these true scattered ladders in the recent bake strap search. I can link that uh, video here if you're interested in seeing that. Okay, let's move on to the next strap. And here's another star note. This is gonna be number eight, 2013 B District. Run size of 3.2 million and a little over 22 and a half million total printed. So again, on the less rare side, but nice find. And the next bill, check it out. Check out the serial number, five in a row repeating digits. So that is a pretty cool find. All right, next strap. All right, a couple more star notes, and this is gonna be a nice one. This 2017 A E district. Check out that run size and total printed. Only 250,000 for the run and 500,000 total printed. You can see here, it just had two runs. This was gonna be the first run uh, for the bill we have. And it's gonna be the sheets type replacement so that they enter uh, circulation uh, much more randomly so they're a lot harder to find. And this one's in really nice shape too. So pretty awesome find there. Uh, this next bill, this 2017 L District, really beat up but that's gonna have a run size of 3.2 million and a little over 8.8 .8 million total printed. So that's gonna be a less rare one, but th this one's the real winner, obviously. Uh, moving on to the third bill, we have another Series 1999. And then the last bill I pulled out the strap, we have quad sixes. Okay, next strap. And only one bill in this strap, which was quad twos. All right, time for that last strap. And again, only one bill here to go over, but it is a beautiful looking series 1999. So great one for the collection there. Okay, let's do a recap on what we found. All right, a nice little haul here from the $1,200 bank strap search. Let's start over with the older bills. Series 1988A, one of those. And then we had four from 1999. And then hopping over to the star notes, Ended up finding 10 of the star notes. Obviously this 2017A from the E district, that was the real standout with only a 250,000 run size, 500,000 total printed. Um, a pretty decent average for 12 straps to find 10 star notes. Moving over to here, 2X notes, which was pretty impressive. And two true scattered ladders, one birthday note, and four quads and one five in a row. As always, thank you so much for watching and happy hunting.